And hello, 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 and welcome back for some more European of Asylum 4, Finnish Mega Campaign Fun. And I think I'm going to be going to war with Lithuania again. I think that's happening. I don't think that's not happening. Um, let me think. I'm going to wait till the manpower's a little bit higher, because I don't really want to risk it. Oh, are you kidding me, right? Bugger. There is new air, though. Sarkis. That's alright. If I'd done the other one, I would have got fairly legitimacy. That would have been pretty good. That would have helped a lot, actually. But he... That one is 15. So that's alright. I'll take that. Wydar's done. Wydar built a lot quicker than I thought it would. And I mean, like, a lot quicker. Not that I'm complaining. I'm going to send a, a new colonist over here to Siberia. Because we need to get that stuff completed. I'm going to build just a... Soldier over there. What's the culture like over there? Oh, it's the canty, is it? Cure beans. Well, I need a, need more colonists over there. Because that means an increase in my empire and more manpower. And I'll take that all the way to the bank. Now, if we take Memo, Sagamatea, and we also take Minsk. Minsk would be a very good province to get, I think. It's very centralized. Now, what sort of economical... Ooh, six. Does have a base tax of six. That is very good. Bemel's got five. Second tier's got two. Those rebels aren't going to last long either. The Lithuanians currently have how many troops? I wonder. I have no idea. Lithuania currently doesn't have many. I would probably beat them pretty easily, I'd imagine. Now, I'm going to advance. Honestly, I'm not going to take a mass amount of territory for him. There's no point in that. Um, trade dispute. Okay. Ah, uh, They're allied with France. Now, that doesn't really... P Sorry, that does put me off. But I didn't realize England's now the defender of the Catholic faith as well, so that war I was going to declare on them is no longer happening. <laughs> um, we can always move in these chaps. We have been mean to do that for a while. We will defeat them pretty easily. We'll only take like one province out of it. As well. That's so just a gradual thing. There's no point in trying to annex everything at once. So we're going to send them over there. We're going to attack there instead. Assuming we still have a claim. We do still have a claim, but Bashkoristan has just rebelled. We're going to take Tavir. No point in trying to conquer anything else. No, I'll take that one. I'd rather not lose the prestige at the moment. Is there anything holding my country together? Get new military again, or should I unlock... Land, yeah, I'm going to unlock that. I can nearly get another trader as well. That's exciting. Ugh, stop rebelling everywhere. What are you doing? Um, you do your thing. We're just going to declare war regardless. Uh, I'm going to attack him from several sides. Get me a few mercenary regiments, actually. Not that expensive. Got a fair bit of money at the moment anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, got a colony over here that's going at 70. Not as good as I thought it would go at. They built pretty quickly as well. Oh, I'm going at full speed, so to be fair, that should be understandable. It's got them in autom automation. Now, we're going to strike from several positions at once. Really screw him over. Hopefully end the war pretty quickly. I only want the one province since it's that province. That's the only province I want. Couldn't care about the rest for the moment. I will take them. I'll just take them later. So what we're going to do is just going to just going to declare war. War is declared. Send these troops over.
Should be able to win that battle. Yeah, that, that battle will end pretty quickly. Yep, didn't last long. As expected. We've already occupied that province as well. Send these chaps north then. Pretty quick, pretty quick and efficient actually. Give them credit. Where are these chaps moving off to? Not sure. We're already got a 34 in the war score as well, so it's not going to last long. 33. Are they on a medium yet? They're already on a medium. Wow. I wonder if they'll give in already. They've given in already. Okay. That was ridiculously easy. And now got that province as well. 163 admin points. Kind of expensive. Where are those mercs? Get rid of them. Yep, got the got a new province. Yay! Some good um economics to get out of there. Seven. That's very good actually. How many troops do we need to replace? Oh, not many. Not many at all. Yes, you may have military access. Kiev is not having a fun time either. Damn it, why do you have to go get alliance with them, you jerks? Same thing with these guys, because England will jump in, and so will Italy and Bavaria. If I had France as an ally, which I am trying to do, but they're proving pretty hesitant towards it. Um. Hmm, damn. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, more potential rebels, is it? Well, I'll put these ones down then. Could always boost this up. Ah, actually, a bit too expensive at the moment. How long will that take the core? That'll take... Another year and a half. 219 over here. That's building pretty efficiently and pretty quickly. How much income am I actually getting from my vassals, I wonder? I'm getting... 0 0.52 and 0 0.26. Subject interactions. What does that mean? What's this? Oh, decrease tariffs, increase tariffs. Oh, that's a pretty cool little feature. Nah, I'm not releasing them. No way. The potential would give me a lot of trade, and that would be very, very stupid to do. Now, I can get another trader, so I'm going to get that. I'm making 2.64. Where do I send another trader? I can send them to Siberia. They'll get a bit from there. Or do I send them to the Gulf of St. Lawrence? How can the French have the most there? Trade power there. I don't think they have troops over there. Chesapeake Bay. does make sense to send one to Chesapeake Bay, so I'm going to send one to Chesapeake Bay. Let's see if that increases my trade income much. I don't really think we're getting enough goods through there quite yet. Manhattan gets three, then one, two. Can it get seven? That's pretty good. This gets two, two... Two, one, nothing special. Come on, you sir. I mean, establish your own colonies so I don't have to do it all myself. I, I have a feeling that South America and North America is going to be very much untouched, I think, by the time Victoria heads around in this. There's a good chance. You sir, his opinion. Yeah, of course, bro. Wow, they are really pissed off. Oh, I'm going to put them down then. 341, so that has increased trade a bit. Not massively, but a bit. As a result, can we get more ships? Not really. So they are getting a bit over there. But the value's not quite high enough over there yet. Still building. There's enough provinces built there yet. 078. Tariffs are going up though. That's alright. Who colonized that? Oh, those guys as well. God, they just colonized everything. 
Oh, the Huxi, who are they at war with? Chai, Sarkel, Husamins. They're aligned with the Ming Dynasty, but the Ming Dynasty still hasn't collapsed yet. I find that really surprising. I thought they would have for sure by now. They've got a, quite a few vassals as well. They've got three vassals. But I think I've got to get some revenge on these guys, my allies as well. I think that's pretty much a must. I'll do that in the near future. Actually, I think that'll be my next um, conflict. But what Do I still have claims in that? I've got a claim in Yugen. I need, need a fresh claim in Urtesh. Yep. Yeah. I reckon if I declare war on him this time, we'll be able to catch him on the run. And I'll be able to help get my help my ally get all their provinces back. That won't quite happen yet, though. I'm going to have to wait. Wait some manpower is probably up to over 50-odd thousand. Probably should wait till that province is caught as well. Yes, France, you may have military access. I got an idea. How about you uh, become my ally? Yeah, uh, you jerks. We even negative 51 of them. Why do we have that? Uh, oh, well, I can't be bothered figuring it out. They're at war with Italy, Andalusia, and Pest. Wait a second. If they're at war with them, France will probably still honor the call. Yep, you can all have military access. You can all have the military access. They're at war with France. French conquest of Treviso. Lost the button. Only Italy would jump into that war. So if I attack them, I don't have to face the Italians. You, you drag me into war against them again. Oh, you so are, aren't you? You are. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to send these guys to go deal with them instead. And send them, get them off all automatic um, rebel suppression stuff. They're trying to take provinces back. Oh, the Asherons are on our side. Interesting. I'm going to occupy those provinces then, if that's the case. And send these troops over here as well. That should work. Oh, I'm going to take on Azov and Chai as well. Bloody Catholic zealots. They're so violent, i tell ya. Oh, Yarkan's around and got a territory in the middle of there as well. Radio then. Oh, rebels in Komi. Rebel scab. Wait a second, what culture was there anyway beforehand? Hmm, not sure. Ostiak. Estonian, Mordvin, Finnish. How much did that cost? 190. Wow, that's really expensive. Really expensive. 110. 60. Should I get another one converted? Maybe should. Yep, I'm just going to work on one. I'm not going to go all of them. Just one. Is the spread like? The spreads are alright. They occupy that province. They are occupying that province. Um, send these blokes over here. I'm gonna take them along. It's going really fast, that province. Kind of surprisingly so. That's going to 80. Azov will give cause that Parochia Chernigov. Wow, they did not last in that war at all. That was kind of easy. You've got the Asherons fighting with us as well. So now troops south to go face these guys, because if they win... Oh, they attacked my troops anyway. So you're screwed. 
Well, cop a few casualties, no doubt, but I'm going to annihilate their main army. But anyway, they'll probably do for the moment, though. I didn't, I didn't end up attacking Lithuania like I thought I would, but I did get Tver finally from Mermon. Made the effort to finally finish him off, and hopefully I might get a province or two from um, Chai um, in the next session. But as per usual, if you enjoyed yourself, please like and subscribe, and also leave a comment if you feel like it. And as always, bye-bye!